Let's face it, sleep is not nearly as sexy as the latest and greatest bicep workout or fad diet. And if we're being honest, are those things even really sexy? Despite being an essential aspect of our daily lives, sleep is often overlooked and something to be proud of foregoing with sayings like sleep is for the weak or you can sleep when you're dead. I for one love sleep and I'm gonna show you why you should too and how it can actually help you reach your fat loss goals. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Eric. I'm a fat loss coach based in Northern California. And on this channel, we explore the strategy and tools to help you lose fat, build muscle, and ultimately live happier, healthier, more enjoyable lives. Today, I'll be drawing inspiration from Dr. Matthew Walker's book, Why We Sleep, Unlocking the Power of Sleep and Dreams, to highlight the importance of sleep when it comes to your health and fitness. First off, what is sleep and why is it even important? At its core, sleep is a complex biological process where the body and brain undergo recovery, rejuvenation, and memory consolidation. It's not just your body's way of going into a shutdown mode and it consists of multiple different stages. The first substage of sleep cycles is non-rapid eye movement, and it's divided into three phases, and it's responsible for the body's recovery, cellular regeneration, and memory consolidation. Stage N1 is the entry. It's a light sleep that lasts only a few minutes, and it's that gentle shift from being awake to being asleep. Here, our eyes start to move slowly and our muscles begin to relax. Stage N2 is where we start to settle in. This is where our heart rate slows, our body temperature drops a bit, and specific brain patterns called sleep spindles and K-complexes start to make their appearance. And then there's stage N3, the deep sleep stage. This is where the real rest happens. Our body recovers, cells rebuild, and we start to store memories. Non-rapid eye movement sleep is essential. It helps our bodies recover our mind store memories, which is really setting the stage for the dreams of REM sleep or rapid eye movement sleep. Now let's talk a little bit more about REM sleep, uh, often referred to as the dreaming stage. So during REM sleep, our eyes move rapidly beneath our eyelids, hence the name. But it's more than just about dreams. It's about how our mind processes and grows. REM sleep is a powerhouse for our emotional well-being. It's where we sift through our feelings, leading to better emotional regulation. If you've ever felt more creative or had a sudden insight after a good night's sleep, that's REM sleep at work, boosting your creativity and problem solving skills. And when it comes to fitness, while non-rapid eye movement helps your muscles recover and grow, REM sharpens your mental game. It ensures that you stay motivated, focused, and ready to crush your goals. In essence, non-rapid eye movement sleep builds the body, while the rapid eye movement sleep builds the mind. And together, they form the foundation for a healthy, happier you. In the hustle and bustle of our modern life, burning the midnight oil has almost become a badge of honor. But it's crucial to understand that the cost of sleep deprivation, especially when trying to lose fat, is exceptionally high. When our sleep is compromised, it triggers a domino effect on our hormonal balance, most notably affecting the hormones responsible for hunger and satiety, or those feelings of fullness. Those two hormones are ghrelin and leptin. Ghrelin, which is often termed the hunger hormone, increases, while leptin, the hormone that signals fullness, decreases. It's this imbalance that can lead to an insatiable appetite, making you consume more calories than necessary because you feel like a bottomless pit. And here's the catch. Sleep deprived individuals often don't crave salads or lean proteins, the things that we actually need in order to lose fat. Instead, there's a heightened attraction to high carb, sugary, and fatty foods, further exasperating weight gain. And all those foods mixed together create such a tasty, insatiable combination that is really hard to stop once you start. So sleep deprivation doesn't just mess with your hunger hormones, it also impacts how our bodies process glucose or our body's form of stored carbohydrates. Studies have indicated that just a few nights of poor sleep can significantly reduce insulin sensitivity. With impaired insulin sensitivity, our bodies are gonna really struggle to process glucose efficiently and instead are gonna start to store it as fat rather than using it for energy. This scenario not only sets the stage for weight gain, but it also increases the risk of type two diabetes. 
Here's a real eye opener for you. Even if you're on a calorie restricted diet, trying to lose fat, a lack of sleep can direct your body to use lean muscle mass for energy over stored fat. When researchers studied dieters, they found that those who were sleep deprived lost more muscle mass than actually losing fat compared to those who got an adequate amount of sleep. This is actually a really interesting thing that they found in the study because muscle is a lot more metabolically active and burns more calories at rest than fat does. Not to mention more muscles are gonna make you look more sexy. So sleep deprivation can inadvertently decrease your calorie burning capacity. The effects of sleep deprivation aren't just physiological. They may also manifest mentally. The lack of rest can cloud judgment, making it harder to resist temptations. Not to mention that your decision-making capabilities are also compromised, and the struggle to stick to a balanced diet increases the less sleep that you get. Additionally, this fatigue can make one succumb to emotional eating. So in an attempt to feel better, you might turn to comfort foods, which more often than not are high calorie, low nutrients, and are pretty detrimental to to your fat loss goals. Now, why sleep is crucial for your fitness. In our quest for a fitter, more robust body, we often put the emphasis on intense workouts or a meticulous diet. But sleep acts like a multiplier. It's one of those things that if we can get right, it's going to have a multiplier effect on all the other things that we do, multiplying your efforts positively when taken seriously. So let's look a little bit deeper into why sleep is not just essential, but mandatory for anyone on a fitness journey. A rested body isn't just more energetic. It's also metabolically more active. When you get enough sleep, your body regulates blood sugar and processes the foods you eat a lot more effectively. This efficiency means fewer calories stored as fat and more energy available for you in your daily activities along with your workouts as well. Over time, your optimal functioning metabolism can significantly aid in fat loss. After a grueling workout, your muscles aren't immediately stronger or bigger. During the workout, they go through microscopic tears and it's the recovery process that actually rebuilds them so that they're stronger and larger than before. And this recovery phase predominantly happens during sleep. Sleep phase is where the body releases growth hormone. And skimping on sleep can reduce the efficacy of this recovery process, making your workouts less effective in terms of muscle gain. Anyone on a fitness journey knows that it's just as much a mental battle as much as it is a physical one. Motivation isn't just about getting started. It's about persisting and keeping going, especially when things get hard. Quality sleep is going to play a vital role here. REM sleep, known for its rich dream activity, has a significant role in the emotional regulation, kind of like we already talked about. A well-rested mind is more resilient, less prone to mood swings, and more motivated to stick to fitness routines and dietary protocols. The quality of your sleep is as essential as is the quantity. So how do we ensure that we're not just sleeping, but sleeping well? It all starts with a consistent sleep schedule. You see, our bodies love predictability. By maintaining a consistent sleep schedule, we're gonna train our internal clock to follow that set rhythm. So aim to maintain this schedule even on the weekends. So our sleep environment plays a pivotal role in determining the quality of sleep that we get on a given night. Our body temperature drops slightly when we sleep and a cooler room can help with this process. So if you have an air conditioner or even just opening your window with a fan is gonna make a huge difference. Darkness on the other hand triggers the release of melatonin, which is a crucial sleep hormone. So I would consider blackout curtains, a sleeping mask, or ideally both to ensure that minimal light intrudes in and ruins a good night's sleep. In our ever-growing digital world, it's tempting to scroll through your phone or binge watch Netflix right before bed. However, the blue light emitted from screens can suppress melatonin production, making it even harder to fall asleep. I try to aim to limit my screen time the hour before bed, so it's either minimal or no screen time that hour before bed. I also really like to use blue light blocking glasses, and in the bedroom, I have a red light bulb, which is gonna help minimize that blue light as well. So what we eat and drink affects how we sleep. Caffeine, for example, can stay in your system for up to eight hours. Hence, that evening coffee might be the culprit behind your restless nights. So I typically do not have any caffeine after 12 p.m. and I like to be in bed around 9 p.m. So that seems to work out pretty well for me. Alcohol is another chemical that's gonna impact sleep for the worse, especially um, the closer it is consumed to bedtime. So if you're going to drink, Give yourself a few hours from the end of when you stop drinking to when you're gonna go to bed. 
A body that's tired from physical exertion naturally is going to crave rest and, and be ready for bed. However, the timing around your physical activity is crucial. So rigorous activity boosts your adrenaline and cortisol, hormones that are gonna make it harder to fall asleep. So therefore, what I would do is make sure that there's a buffer of a few hours between your workout and bedtime. For anyone striving to achieve fat loss or to build muscle, understanding the invaluable role of sleep is crucial, and in my opinion, non-negotiable. The lessons from Dr. Matthew Walker's Why We Sleep aren't just about the act of sleeping, but about maximizing its quality and harnessing its power to support our fitness goals. By prioritizing rest, we're going to set a strong foundation for not only physical transformation, but also for a healthy, more vibrant life. And that's it for me on this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. It really helps me out, allows me to make more videos just like this for you. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in the next video.